And today is all about what it's like to ride inside Elon Musk's first underground transportation tunnel. Last month, Elon Musk unveiled his vision of a high-speed tunnel system by opening his first underground tunnel beneath Los Angeles for test. Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and welcome back to my channel. And today is all about what it's like to ride inside Elon Musk's first underground transportation tunnel. To be specific, it's a 1.14 mile tunnel and Musk says, it's a first step in solving a soul-destroying urban traffic like this one. Musk doesn't want to be stuck in traffic, so he's really serious about this thing. Musk says this thing could eliminate traffic in Los Angeles. In 2016, Elon Musk founded a construction firm called The Boring Company to tackle traffic jam by drilling underground. Though some people thought it was a joke, but two years later, the joke just keeps getting more and more real. Because here comes the new underground transportation tunnel he initiated. This test tunnel runs about 40 feet underneath a mile of road alongside the headquarters of SpaceX, another Musk venture. Let's now try to look at and see what it feels like to ride inside this tunnel. After the Model X is lowered 45 feet and slowly rolls into the tunnel, the driver accelerates quickly, eventually hitting almost 50 miles per hour. The row of lights on the ceiling are blue in the middle, then red or green at the ends of the tunnel, indicating drivers are clear to speed up or should slow down. It's a thrill when you're inside the tunnel, but this is certainly not close to the 150 miles per hour. Gail King, a CBS This Morning's news anchor, experienced a breathtaking ride on this underground tunnel together with Elon Musk himself. Let's watch them. You can go ahead, I think. How fast is this? <laughs> this is still slow. We're this doing is two, slow? only doing 20, 28, 30 miles oh an hour. Oh my god, oh my we'll god, speed oh up my god. After we get around the corner. This isn't just any tunnel. We can, go, oh. we can get 100, no problem, but we'll, we'll, we'll take it easy for you. Musk goal for speed in here is to reach up to 150 miles per hour. But as of now, since it's not yet fully functional and this time it's just for test, the highest speed reach in here is almost 50 miles per hour. Not bad. I do warn you it's going to be a, a slightly bumpy ride. It's a little rough around the edges. Once they smooth out some of the bumps, Musk said cars could go through the tunnel at up to 150 miles per hour. I think this is just the beginning of futuristic transportation network system. Either we try something new or we will be stuck in traffic hell for the rest of our lives. This is the underground network he envisions. Electric cars using street level elevators to drop down into a series of tunnels. Autonomous technology in the cars ensure that they don't run into each other, despite going speeds over 125 miles an hour. And in the future? We can expect that there could be some other amazing things to come in connection to this tunnel. That will happen next after this. The possibility is limitless. So this first tunnel is merely for us to get public feedback. But if the reaction is positive, he says that the possibilities are almost endless. There will be options of personalized transit, an almost underground highway, if you will. Musk is also working on a high-speed subway, some, that can actually go faster than a jet. The main purpose for the creation of this tunnel is to solve traffic jam, but there is a catch here. The plan is to let drivers zip through traffic-free tunnels at 150 miles per hour, but there is a catch. Only electric self-driving cars are allowed. Musk says there will also be public transportation vehicles that constantly cycle through the tunnels. He says people can ride for dirt cheap, about a dollar a ride. Wow, this is only exclusive for self-driving electric cars. But once it's fully operational, I'll just choose to ride on a public transportation vehicle so that can pass through it. It's just for one dollar. That's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.